And here it is, early entry. People are hustling and bustling through the gates of islands. You best believe they're going to Hagrid's, Velocicoaster, maybe even Tyrannid on Flyers. Those are all popular attractions that you want to get done in the morning if you want to get on it in a semi-decent time. One thing to note here at early entry that some carts actually serve breakfast sandwiches at 8 o'clock. So you won't find this unless you wake up early. One of the best tricks if you're entering any park is always go to the left. Because more people are statistically inclined to go to the right. So if both entrances are open, I like to go far left as much as possible. And it seems like sometimes I get through quicker. Look at this, early admission signs are out. I'm glad that I have it. Got that annual pass so I get to go to the right as I enter into Seuss Landing. Why well, the general public has to go that way and they kind of wait over there for... And here, early park admission just for the passes and hotel guests. That's how you know. So let's go experience this. Hello, thank you. You're welcome. All I have to do is flash my little lanyard as everyone wears here at Universal. Everyone's got a lanyard. No magic bands here. And then that proves that you have the annual pass. Then you go right in. And the fun begins. So this is your best chances to get to any of those big rides that you're gonna get all day. But even if you get early entry, Hagrid's is still, I predicting about 100 minutes. Walking through Seuss Lagoon, looks like nothing is open till nine. So, so far, early entry is not gonna get you on anything about nine o'clock or so. But that's okay. It's the walking experience that you get to walk without the crowds. That's the beauty of early entry. I know, they're all going to Hagrid's, that's right. That's where the line is. And then if you're the regular guest, they let you in. You can see the holding area right here by my favorite bathroom. So that's kind of fun for them. Over by the queue is for Quan bathroom. Look at all the people there. But that's not us today. And right now I'm crossing the bridge into the lost continent. Look at this exciting bit of information. We are not allowed to go straight into the wizarding world to Hagrid's, it looks like they're rerouting traffic right now. That's it's oh, it's delayed. Something Hagrid's is a lot. Well, that's pretty much par for course. Sometimes you're gonna try to get on Hagrid's and it's gonna be delayed. This is why you wanna have early entry if you're staying in a hotel or something. Because right now, Lost Coaster is only 35 minutes and this is probably the best you're gonna get all day to the end of the night. One of the things is about early entry. Not everything is open, so only the Velocicoaster is open, and right now they're rerouting us from Velocicoaster back to the Wizarding World, and that's about it. You can't go much further than that, at least until about 9 o'clock. And here I am reaching my destination, Camp Jurassic, home of the Pteranodon Flyers. Something you definitely want to get here early to go and do. But if you get here at night, it's pretty cool because they have the fire on, they have the lighting over Jurassic Park. You get a good night ride on this. But remember, guests must be between 36 inches and 56 inches in order to ride. So if you have a kid, you can only go with a kid. This is not for everybody. But I recommend you experience it before your kids grow up. Also, a little update. This walkway, that's the exit from Pteranodon Flyers, has recently just opened. They just refurbished the railing and you can see this rope material that they uh, refitted it with the structure there's some new wood here and new planks because originally this walkway was walled off if you go upstairs there so a little update to the Jurassic playground area now you have this walkway exit from Pteranodon Flyers and it's a nice one it, it provides a good view of rocks and fire all right folks there it is early entry to Universal's Islands of Adventure. It's nine o'clock now, 
So it's officially over. The park's open just about everywhere. You got only a 10 minute wait to Spider-Man. So if you're coming in, regular entry, go left. You'll get on these rides faster. But overall, I feel early entry is a little disappointing because the only things you can really do is Velocicoaster and Hagrid's. And today, Hagrid's was down. So that already took that out of play. And even Velocicoaster with early entry, it had about a 35, almost 40 minute wait. So that's not that exciting. The Pteranodon Flyers, I only got on them because it was after nine, so they didn't even open that. And then if you want to get breakfast, if you don't score one of those breakfast sandwiches out in City Walk like I did, you're pretty much out of luck till you get to Harry Potter World and wait in the giant line for the three broomsticks breakfast. So I would, I would suggest just eat before you even get an early entry because there's not a lot of breakfast food available. I mean, look, for breakfast, I'm having Auntie Am's pretzels today. But that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, probably here at Universal again, I'm Johnny Jans, and as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. Okay, scratch the train off my list because you can see the line just meandering all around the corners at Los Condes. So that is also a no. Because there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. You could walk to Universal and turn around. That's something to do.